G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. We're going to have a look at the S6 Tommy Camper. It's actually an SX6. Is that right? That's right. This is Gavin. We met Gavin on the beach yesterday and decided to do a couple of videos about his camper. Completely different camper to mine. The SX6. S S six. I'll just type that again. It's S6X. S6X. Yeah, so it's like your S4, the next on the end. Fair enough. So we're going to have a look at his camper. It's basically just going to be a walk around, all the bits, what you get with an S6X. The inside space, I'll sit down on my shelf. The inside space is quite convenient. I find it um, very roomy and comfortable. You notice I've got my arm on this shelf here. This is because it's the X series. Actually, the the six is finished here, so there'd be a wall right here. With the X, I've got the extra space, so I generally use the space for storage. Um, and things up there out of the way. So we're on the inside of the S6X. The camera's on the bed, so that's that's so you get some perspective of, of, of what it looks like inside. Very similar to mine, especially from the bed that way. And you've all seen, well, most of you would have seen probably one or two of my videos. But the space, there's just there's two of us, there's two of us in mm. here and we're comfortable, so how good is that? Tell us about the inside, yeah, um, Gavin. Yeah, it's great. Well, first of all, the, um, the I'm sitting on the, on the, what they call it, the two-seater, and it's actually a real two-seater. You could fit two people. You, you know, won't sit next to me for a sec, move the bed around. Sorry about the rocking people. So you can see we're both sitting down and there's this room between us, so it's, it's a good sized seat. I'm leaning back um, the way off my arm on this shelf because uh, the 6X has this extra space back here, which is um, very often very convenient. Um, it's quite a roomy space. I find I set up my um, table over here as well. So I bring my portable table in here and set it up. So I'm quite relaxed in the bad weather. And I've got, um, uh, with this, the underbed, I've got an underbed shelf, underbed drawer, and access to facilities. If we just stand up again. Now, if, Beneath Wayne is on the cushion is a shelf, so it lifts up and it gives you full access to inside the campus at night time. If you want to access something inside the vehicle, you don't need to go outside if you're going, wing, you can open, lift your seat up and pull down from in here. It's also got a door on that, so I can open the door and pull out the, the uh, porta potty out of the road for nighttime convenience. It's generally the uh, generally quite comfortable space. I've, I had about the the lights, there's one at this end and one at the other end. And also there's two fans, one each side, and they're, they're quite simple to use. And in the summer months, those fans, they look backwards, but they actually spin around, don't they? Yes, that's right. So you can move them around and... and so you got two handles, what are they for? Help you in and out of bed. <laughs> they can be used for that, but they're they're the original handles for the um, for the roof lift roof. In which case you can manually lift the roof up and down. I have the electric roof. I prefer that over the manual roof. If I choose to store the um, electric roof out of the way again, I can go back to manually use those handles as a standard vehicle. Okay. And this is the pole for the electric roof. That's right. And it's supported by quite a large platform there that pushes back into the middle of the roof. Yeah, that, that's quite convenient. Um, it supports you know, it supports the whole roof. How do you find condensation with this canvas? I haven't experienced problems with condensation yet. Um, I didn't leave a uh, window open breather on both sides. So I get cross flow ventilation of an evening. And um, I haven't had a risk with, uh, with condensation. In saying that, I've been in the snow yet. So <laughs> The stitching on the canvas is a good job too. It looks a bit rough in places, but it's a really good quality thread they've used. You can actually see the thread. You've got the pockets up the end for your bed head. They're handy. They're very handy at night time. When you're up that end of the bed, you can put your books and the other things out of the road, you know, ready for sleep. Mm. The um, fly screens are very good. I've got the fly screen mesh as well, which I put on the door when it's, when it's in the summer months. I don't find I need it too much in the winter months. But some months I can put the fly mesh on the back door there, which works out quite well. So you've got a drawer there, I notice it's a closed drawer or something, is it? Yes, that's the that's the underbed drawer, pulls out with just two two hinges and it's quite large, it goes back a fair way and that's all clothing. 
and the open drawer I use for just general storage. That's just a shelf, the size? Yes. Right yep. what, what haven't we covered in here? Um, oh, this is the fuse for your 240? That's right. So it's a, it's a safety switch. So the 240 safety switch, so it'll trip uh, like a house would. Mm -hmm. um, so when it's on shore power, it'll trip if any problems occur. Uh, but I've got two 240 ports in access pillars. I can run 240 power from in here, as well as the above, that's the safety switch. Mm. So to give you an idea of space, it's so hard to film in small spaces. This space here, two people can stand comfortably, two people can sit comfortably. And in poor weather, you want somewhere to get out of, out of the weather. This does it absolutely fantastically. The S6 shell um, comes pretty standard with all vehicles. My, what I'm walking through now is how I've configured my S6 through Tommy's. So when I ordered my S6, um, I looked at the X, and we'll talk about that in a second, why the X is different to the 6. For now, um, what I had done, I've got in the front here, so from the front looking way back, I've got, I put two 75 litre water tanks in there. This tank here to the right has is, is got a uh, water pump to it, so it's pump, I pump that under pressure. This one's a free flowing tank, that's beside the fridge to the side. Um, that's a battery box there for the uh, 200 amp lithium battery um, with a uh, fully supported um, 2000 watt inverter DC to DC system and e power charging system so I can uh, run power either from shore power or I can run it from the vehicle and it's under solar support so the solar panels are 200 amp solar panel on the roof. That's so pretty well essentially off the grid independent, I can be independent for water and power for as long as my food lasts. Like, um, I've got pretty well all this here as free, as free flowing storage. Um, I generally fit in, I can fit another two tubs conveniently plus um, supporting gear, everything fits. I've never had an issue with storage. Not for me, I think, I think the only negative would be the learning I think, wouldn't be a negative, more of a learning. The learning for me would be um, because I've got extra water in the headboard of this tray, um, I really don't need so much water. So I probably in hindsight would probably uh, remove one of the tanks and move my battery against the headboard so I have more space in here. Um, but apart from that, that would be the only learning in my experience for this. So if I was doing this again, I'd probably, if I had, and I had, knowing I had the headboard water tray, I'd actually just have the one of these tanks would be sufficient because I've got one tank for drinking and the one for, for everything else. Um, and that would bring the battery further forward, so bring the weight forward. But, but generally, as far as weight goes, the way the Tommies are designed, most of my weight finishes here. It's a little bit at the back, but all the, all the excess weight, so all the fridge, the kitchen, everything stops about here. So I'm pretty well above the axle. The bit to the back, where the, um, the additional space is on the X series, um, is, is not that much weight at all. I think the total difference difference between the the, um, the four and the six um, you have to look it up the site but I'm guessing 50 kilos 40 to 50 kilos extra for the extra side from the four to the six with the X on the back and up front it's um, I have a kick-ass shower tent um, once again uh, with a different bracket to the Tommy that was supplied by uh, dynamic and uh, this is positioned well because it, um, it's forward enough for the gull wing and I can access all I need to do from here so I have, have the shower set up and I've, I can reach in here and have my uh, toiletries and so forth available here or in actually in the tent itself. The, uh, I normally carry a jacula but today this trip I didn't bring the jacula with me so that's normally hanging on the back door but that bracket was before you'll see shortly um, but uh, otherwise there's a, uh, a jacula hanging off that running off the system. Now, um, when I talk about the X, what I'm talking about, I'm six foot. So when I get into the get into a, a camper, I found that the previous campers finished, um, gosh, back here further. So I had to bend down to get in. Whereas with this one, the X series have a space. So if you can see it, I think you can see it from this side. There's this 
this wing where it starts and finishes. So you've got the, the standard vehicle finishing here. So that the, that would be a that would be a standard S6. Whereas the X6X has this bit at the back, um, which is confined by the support rail, which is hollow. Um, support so you get extra you get an extra roof space. Um, so my my darts yawning comes further back, so it's all covered in as well. But uh, so if I look at the when I open the door, so you can see this bend at the top. That's the extra space I'm getting that I wouldn't have naturally had, which I find quite useful. The door itself will sit rest to here. Um, I'm planning to get a um, a jerry can holder slash spare tyre yet which case I'll be compromising them because the door will not be able to close and hold back once I do that so I'm tossing up about whether I go with that but at the moment the door itself swings back latches off and I've got all my space the, the ladder folds down easily and to get in and out it's quite straightforward. I just grab the handle here and I can walk. Pretty well full height all the way up. I had, when I had the uh, camper fitted uh, fitted out, I asked to have the, the Darchi. So I've got the Darchi 270 awning. It goes, it's uh, it opens up right around. So I'll tie the front, it'll go forward to the end of the front camper and around the rear, there's a few videos on, on YouTube about how that's done, so I won't pull it out. The the fitting of it, though, is interesting because uh, I had the uh, units assembled up at uh, Dynamic Engineering in Harvey Bay, and they fitted a specialised bracket to the Tommy. So this bracket is not the standard Darchi bracket. It's actually a, a custom job by the engineering company, and it's, it's basically a reinforced aluminium bracket that supports the Darchi. It doesn't stress the darching doesn't stress the, the camper, so it's quite a good a good compromise, I feel. And looking at the kitchen, um, first thing is my oh that comes off, open. There you go. So I have shore power, should I want it, which, which powers these these sets here. The um, the kitchen itself is quite convenient in that I've got the three the standard shelves, but I get the extra hub at the top. I fit my road chef in. It's about three mil, three to four mil out on the shelf. So I took the shelf out, put the, put the road chef on, bolt it in, then put the shelf, shelf back in. It's um, quite convenient. I kept my, I'm all electric now. So that's my induction cooktop, my toaster. The shelf is uh, very convenient, folds up enough room it holds everything in so nothing moves around and high enough to keep my toaster in place and my electrical cooktop in place not to mention the, the pull-out kitchen and again the difference between the two models would be I'd say about that much extra bench top space in the in the top I mentioned earlier about the um, the table so I'll just quickly show you how that works lunch out of the road So now we're just removing the towel holder, flicking two switches, and I've got myself a drop-down drop down shelf which locks up, and uh, it's better just reaching in. I've got a full length table which folds out, and to put it back. Drops down to place so it won't move when you're travelling. Locks up out of the road. Simply reapply my roll. I'm good to go. The uh, the, the medic fridge for it is um, I think it's a 70 litre. The medic. I always get that wrong. 70 litre. I think it's 70 from memory. Great fridge. Does the job well, keeps things cold. All the important things, alcohol, beer, food, freezer space. It um, holds everything well. It's got a, a, um, 
a locker mechanism in here so you stick your wine and your milk and so forth, it won't move around. Place your eggs. And it's got a crisper at the bottom. It's a it's not a large fridge but it's, it's convenient. The trade-off for me was um, how much fridge space did I want and personally I chose that size fridge to give me a more storage but also I have a fridge set up in the back of my seat of the car so I've got which runs power off here so I can power my fridge from here from the, from the solar on the vehicle the back seat which runs my fridge so I've got free space in the back seat and fridge space in here for long trips the electrics, the electrics um, is the, the main board here simple off off mechanism it's got um, six sockets USB outlets it's uh, and all my, my uh, fuses are, are transparent here and I've got a switch there for my pump on the other side for my uh, water tank um, learnings for me on this How one you your water? ah yes above each you'll hear up here is the water outlet it's a simple matter of keying in and reversing out there's one each side for each tank um, it's better sticking your hose in it's pretty straightforward and that's a that's the this tap here is for the tank on this side the tap on the other side is for the tank with the pump lighting? it's got strip lighting above each of the, the uh, gullwing doors so I've got both red and white lights So night lights as well as daylights. It's very convenient. That, and because of where they're positioned, you're not looking into your face. It's actually behind you, so you can cook with lights on it pretty well easily. Well, that brings us to the end of another video. Um, I'm sure there's lots of things we've missed. And if there's something you want to know about, leave us a comment down the bottom, even if it's just a say hello. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, Gavin, for... For Sharon's through your camper. No worries at all. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.